Hey everyone, in today's tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to clone parts, so let's get into it. First up, make a part. Next up, just name it whatever you want. I'm just going to name it part to clone, or actually clone part. Next, I'm going to add a script in workspace. Now I'm going to make a variable for my part, so I can like find it easier. Game dot, wait what? Ah, I forgot to name it. <laughs> local clone. Actually, local part. Local part equals game dot workspace dot clone part. Now we have to clone the part. It's actually really simple. Now we have to make another variable for our clone part, which I'll show you how to do. Local clone part equals part clone. It's just a little function. That's all you have to do. Now, the only thing we have to do with the clone part is we have to set the parent. So we'll set the parent to the workspace equals, and now you'll see if we run the game, it'll just duplicate this. See how it spawned instantly. And now we can put this in a while loop. While true do wait for anyone who doesn't know if you put wait and don't add any number inside, then it'll just wait 0 0.049 seconds, which is the least you can wait. And now if you run. Yeah, you're gonna see how it just keeps wanting to clone, and it's really funny how it just keeps sliding. But you can see the origin part is right here. I think it's right there. Wait, let me. Yeah, it's this part. So you can see if I just like leave it there for a second, it's gonna just start like going everywhere. So now, let's say you don't want to have your part in the workspace and just want to clone it from like replicated storage. So just move your part there. And now our variable, we can just change it to game dot replicated storage dot clone part. Now we 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 ha we still have to set the parent to workspace, so it's literally just going to be the same. The only thing is, it's going to clone the part in the position that it was. So if we want to set the position, we can set it to whatever clone part dot position equals vector three dot new zero comma fifty comma zero. So now it's going to spawn in the air really high up. So you can see here, it just spawns all the way up here. All the parts just spawn there. Now, if you wanna, you can just edit it like this. You can just change the, the material. And you'll see that all the clone part, the, the clone parts will have the same material. Now, if you would like to change that, you can just change it with its properties. So clone part dot um, size equals vector three dot new. And we can make this random, so math.random1,5. And just copy that. So it's a completely random size every time it spawns. Which is really fun to play around with. You can see how it just spawns extremely weirdly sized parts. You can also change the material and the color. Thank you guys for watching. If you guys have any tutorial suggestions or ideas, just tell me in the comment section or join my Discord server in the description.